Ryan Glover. I wanted to do this video about Lawrence Taylor. He recently had a case dropped against him for failing to register as a sex offender in Florida and updating his address. Yo, know, he had been charged with that before in 2021. The case stems from an incident that happened in Rockland in 2010, where he basically went to a hotel and he met with a girl that was 16 years old. He says he didn't know. And like the law didn't like, you know, uh, find that excuse, like, you know, reasonably he was convicted of being like, you know, a sex offender. And I think like, you know, that it's disgusting, man. Like, you know, the girl said like, you know, uh, in the court, like, you know, she, she sued him and she was represented by Gloria Allred you know, that uh, she had a black eye. And Lawrence Taylor, like, you know, went and like, you know, had sex with her anyway. And you can make the argument, I'm sure plenty of people will, that, you know, maybe you didn't know she was 16. But like, I think like, you know, if you think a girl's young, like, you know, to the point where you have to ask her her age, like, you know, and then like also the fact like, you know, that he was paying for sex. And like, you know, this is somebody who's a celebrity and it cites where you could find like, you know, girls where you definitely know they're of age. Like, you know, it's disgusting. And these are the kind of people that are celebrated in society. This is a person who's in the NFL Hall of Fame. You know, got the opportunity to play in the NFL. People could say like, you know, that maybe he has like uh, CTE, you know, from being a football player for so long. Maybe like, you know, TBI, traumatic brain injury. Those are the kind of excuses and stuff that people make. But I think like, you know, people know right from wrong. And at the end of the day, like, you know, why like, you know, are sports figures celebrated in society? And like, you know, they do these horrific acts where they're like, you know, taking advantage of the most vulnerable members of our population. I think like, you know, this is like, you know, um, further evidence of like, you know, how we need to clean up society and have people who are actually like, you know, interested in protecting the most vulnerable members. Like, how would you feel if that was your daughter and she's being forced into a hotel room where she has to have sex with a grown man for money? And then like, you know, she's not even gonna get to keep the money. The guy like, you know, who was her pimp, who was also convicted is probably gonna be the one who keeps the majority of the money. So, yeah, I think it's like an unfortunate situation. And, you know, Lawrence Taylor, he's gone on, like, you know, to be in movies and still, like, you know, benefits from the fact, like, you know, like a playing in the NFL, but he committed these atrocities and basically, like, you know, played a part in, like, ruining this young girl's life.